Pokemon trading card game is dead to me, and here's why. January of 2020, we had our Dallas Regionals. It was great. I went to it. You can go back and watch the vlog on here. Shortly after that, March hit, and as everybody knows, that's when the pandemic happened. I understand the pandemic. I understand the problems with all of that. I understand the reason for the shutdown. I understand the reasoning for killing tournaments. What I don't understand is during that time, Pokemon sales went through the roof. Stores are still bought out. You cannot find them. Walmart and Target have recently stopped selling Pokemon altogether because they couldn't keep it on the shelves. And then when it was there, people were almost rioting to get to there to buy it so that they could collect the newest and greatest cards. And that in itself is fine. I understand people wanting cards, understand people not having anything to do during the pandemic. But their sales went through the roof. They gained all of this money. They became the number one card game in the world at that time. I don't know if they still are. I'm sure they are. You still can't buy cards. And their online client is still terrible. So they shut down all regionals, they shut down worlds for two years running, and they didn't do anything to try to help the player. Collectors, they didn't help them either. They short printed everything back to the competitiveness of it. They didn't help the player at all. After a while, once they saw Limitless was running tournaments and all these other guys, I think Chilled maybe was running tournaments, I mean a bunch of people were running their own tournaments, they decided to throw out the Players Cup, which is a complete debacle. The number one was complete debacle. You had to have tickets and blah 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 and it was just, it was terrible. They fixed that with Player Cup 2, but still my main problem is with the online client. They threw out Player's Cup, they have no, you have no way of getting cards in game unless you buy codes. Which to buy codes, you've got to get them out of packs. To get them out of packs, you've got to buy them from the store. Now you can go to things like Town Store and buy them from there, but they still cost for the new packs 30 to 50 cents per pack. I'm not dropping a hundred bucks, fifty to a hundred dollars on a bunch of packs that I may or may not get that Crobat V or that Urshifu V Max or that Victini V Max or Dragapult V or V Max out of it just to play in an online tournament that you don't even know for, for online cards that you don't even know if you're going to get to play in real life again. It's a complete debacle. If you look at their client versus Magic the Gathering's client, it's a completely different world. Magic the Gathering, you can, not only can you play on mobile with your phone without having to download the AP, APK for like Android, but guys like me who have iPhones, they can play on the Magic Gather, the Gathering app. I don't, I'm not a Magic player. I don't really enjoy playing Magic as far as like Standard or anything like that. I enjoy some Commander, but I don't really enjoy playing the 60 card, you know, throw at each other deck in what would be considered competitive. I don't really enjoy that. But I play their app because I can play it on my phone. You can't do that with Pokemon. And on top of that, Magic, you get wild cards where you can turn those wild cards into any other card. So if it's uh, you have a common wild card, you can turn it into a common card. If you have a rare wild card, you can turn it into a rare card. If you have an uncommon, same for uncommon. If you have a mythic, same for mythic. So let's say I got a mythic card and I needed four of them and I had four mythic wild cards. I could turn three of those into that one mythic card and have a full play set. Same thing should be with Pokemon. If I have a rare Dedenne GX, I should have a wild card that I can turn into a Dedenne GX. But no, I have to go and I have to trade on the trade store for 36 packs or whatever it's worth at the time to get that one Dedenne GX. Then I have to go to PotownStore.com or, or wherever. I'm not promoting them. They're not. I'm not socializing them in any way. That's just the one I see the most. Go to Potown or Troll and Toad or wherever eBay to buy codes and I had to drop 50 bucks to get enough packs to be able to trade for a single Dedenne. Or I can take my chances in opening them and find out that, no, there was no Dedenne. In fact, there wasn't hardly any rares. There was two, and one of them was a, a, a Mr. Mime, and the other one was some other random GX that is not necessary. I'm not gonna spend money for online cards that I can't play, that I can't, that I don't enjoy playing. Not that I can't play them, but I don't enjoy it. It's not fun. And on top of that, the random system online is completely off whack. You can't tell me that when I'm Marnie and I shuffle my hand into the bottom of my deck and I draw the exact same cards off the top that that's 
the way it's supposed to be. Like the exact same hands. You shuffle in four energies and you get back out four energies in a deck that only plays 12 energies. That doesn't work. If you don't believe me on that, go watch Tablemon. He puts out a ton of videos. Um, he's a really good player. He's won special events in Mexico and all over the place. He's always placing in the top, top ranks. And on PTCGO, he has the worst luck of drawing the absolute worst trash hands. And it's not his fault, it's the client's fault. So not only do you have to rely on you to build your skill and to be a good player, you have to rely on your deck building skill, which is, you know, good. You have to rely on the natural non you know, randomness, the natural randomness of your deck of whether or not it's going to draw correctly, because I realize sometimes you just have dead hands. But then you also have to wonder, if those in that element that you have no control over whatsoever, if the client is even right, if it's even playing, if it's even being fair. And who's to say they're not, I don't know this, but who's to say they're not going in there and tweaking things? You know, if you're doing really well, well, they'll tweak you and make you go down. I don't know. They put you against different opponents that are supposed to be more in your bracket. There should be a rank ladder. If you want to play competitive, play on the rank ladder. If you want to play casual, play on the casual ladder. I know that's what the tournaments are supposed to be for, but not everybody has tickets. I don't have tickets. I don't hardly have any tickets, partly because I can't win. And the other part is, I play in one tournament and it gives me a dead hand and I have to drop out because I'm, I've already lost before I even started. You start with one starting Pokemon, it was a Dendene, and you don't see any of your other 12 supporters or anything to go along with that for the next two turns. So anyway, as far as I'm concerned, until real life events come in, Pokemon the trading card game is dead to me. I, won't, I haven't bought any cards, I won't buy any cards, I refuse to play online, I will not play in the Players Cups, I just end up getting angry at the complete craziness that is their algorithm, and I won't do it. But let me know what you guys think, is it good for you, has it been great for you, have y'all qualified? Let me know, and uh, hit me up in the comments.